This episode of Film Riot is brought to you by Domain.com. Today on Film Riot, hacking heads in a nice long shot. Listen, Dead Eris, you're possessed by brushwood. So fight it. Fight it! Or I'll lop it off. I'll, I'll lop it off! Logo. Welcome to Film Ride, the show that keeps you up to date with all things film. I'm your host, Ryan Conley. Before we get started, if you have not seen last week's episode, go here and watch it before you watch this episode, because we're about to spoil it. A lot. So. Mmm. Gang, gang here. What was that? That was a, you know, it was a thing I do. Okay, so today we're going to take a look at a few things that I didn't have time to cover last week, which I chose these things based off of what was requested the most by you lovely viewers. So sweet. I know. Aren't I? Oh, and Josh is back. Hi. Hi. So today we are going to tackle this. Fight it! Or I'll lop it off. I'll, I'll lop it off! And this. Okay, let's kick this off with some head hackery. Hi. You already said that. Okay, so just to be clear, you know what I'm saying? Okay, that's good. Let's get down to business, the business of love. <laughs> Did you get that one? <laughs> For this, we only need two shots. This one of Eris in front of a green screen and reacting to the head hackage. Then I drop the green screen and have Josh act out hacking someone's melon off that isn't even there. And we're done shooting. Moving on, we go into effects of after, or after effects, whatever you rather. We pop Eris on top, Josh on the bottom, then mask and key Eris's layer, add a bit of color correction to make sure the two match up. Now I will adjust the timing of the two clips so that Josh's swing matches Eris's reaction and scale position the footage to match up as well. And we have this. Nothing, really. So now I will duplicate Eris's layer, select the top version of Eris, mask around his head, then copy and paste that mask to the bottom layer, except in this bottom layer's mask options, I will select invert. So now if I solo the top layer, you will see just Eris's head, and if I solo the bottom, it's just gonna be the neck down. Now, we will duplicate Eris's layer yet again, remove the mask from it, and use this right up until we want Eris's head to fly off. Then we're gonna cut to our other two layers. Now it's time to make this bad boy move. So, we will set keyframes for scale, position, and rotation. Then, right when we want to cut to our second layer, I will move Eris's head up and rotate it a bit. Then I will move to the end and bring it all the way out, scale it up a bit, and rotate more. Then I'll go back and forth, adjusting until I get the speed and movement that I'm happy with, like this. Now if you look here, you'll see that Eris is moving around a lot, which makes the fact that it's masked out very noticeable. So I will go frame by frame, adjusting the mask, matching his movements. Next, I'm going to bring in something that I can use to look gory, like a gory part of his neck where it was cut off and the inside of his neck is showing it it's gory. I actually used a picture of some meat then masked around and what I wanted and then placed it in. Again, since there are no good tracking points here, I just keyframed this meat layer's position to match Eris's movement. It was pretty simple, not a big deal. Now I will bring in one asset from Action Essentials, just one, this one, which I will place behind Eris's layer to pop out once the head comes off. And here is what we have now, which I think looks like crap. Like crappy poo crap crappiness. So there is one more step that's really going to sell this effect. One thing that'll tie it all together, and that is depth of field. I planned this shot to focus on Josh so that we could make this effect as real as possible. So I will pre-comp all of Eris's layers, then add a camera lens blur and set the radius to about 38. And now after our final color grade, we have... Fight it! Or I'll lop it off. I'll, I'll lop it off! In my opinion, this is a super easy technique to pull off what otherwise would be a very difficult effect. By setting the decapitate out of focus, we were able to get away with a lot and sell a shot that can be very difficult to pull off. Domain.com is a place to go if you are trying to get yourself web hosting or domain name. 
Right, Josh? Totally, man. Which you wouldn't do it either because you have nothing to show off because you're uninteresting and nobody likes you. That was really rude for but no reason whatsoever. I'm my heart. sitting here. I'm happy to have you back. Minding my own business. Whatever it is that you're looking to do from hosting a blog to promoting yourself on the web, which I'm sure Josh would want to do because he's oh, vain. Yeah. Domain.com is by far the best place That's to go. Fun. If you need a domain name but you can't think of one, which Josh would never be able to think wow, of a domain I'm name, Josh about. can use the domain discovery system to help him find a domain name because he's not smart enough to come up with one on his own. Help and fun. Right, buddy? I don't like you. And here's the sweet part of it that Josh is going to like because he's cheap. If you use the coupon code FILMRIOT at checkout, you can score 15% off your domain name and web hosting. So if you're looking to build yourself a presence on the web or you just, you know, want to blog a little bit, do it through domain.com. Like Ryan because he's stupid. That, no. Got him. That was sad. Got him. So sad. Logo. So now I'm going to answer the most requested effect, which came from these people, like for instance, please show us how you film that final shot. And another person saying, please explain the last shot, please. And thank you. So as always, I'm going to be your filmmaking prostitute and explain. Because I mean, if you guys just keep leaving that money on the nightstand, I'm going to give you what you want. That was a really awkward analogy. But a true one. Thing is, I'm not really sure how to show how we did this shot without sounding like a commercial for Kessler Crane. So before we get started, a little ethics statement. Let's clear the air. I do not get paid by Kessler to talk about their gear on Film Riot ever. I really do just think they have the best gear of this kind out there without any competition. And with that out of the way, shall we? The two pieces of gear that I used was the Kessler Crane and the Kessler Revolution head, which amounted to the end of the crane. To pull this shot off, I did it the same way that I did this Eris version. I had someone control the crane, moving it in, then up, as I controlled the Revolution head through the Oracle controller. I started low for a much more dynamic shot, too. Starting higher and coming in wouldn't have had the same reveal and epic feeling as the low shot did. With it low, I could get the great texture of the floor, and the angle made Bruno and his surroundings seem much bigger and more important. As the crane was moved in, we began to lift it over the actor as I controlled the head in sync with the move. It was difficult to get this shot down since we're moving on so many angles at once, but after a few takes of trying it out, I was really happy with the end result. So now, giving past episodes, I know what a few of you will say already, and that it will probably be to complain about how you can't afford this gear or something like that. Well, just because you can't afford the exact gear I'm using here doesn't mean you can't take the general idea behind it and get creative. I remember when I was much younger, the only thing that would show any form of behind the scenes of filmmaking at all was something called Movie Magic on the Discovery Channel. Obviously what they showed was beyond anything I could get my hands on. This was big Hollywood and I was just a kid with no gear whatsoever except for my parents camera but I took the ideas behind what the pros did and came up with my own way of doing it at the level that I was at. So I'm hoping you guys can do the same here. The point is to take the techniques and the idea behind something and run with it. Logo. And we've reached the end of this Rainbow O episode and what did we find? Film Riot t-shirts like the one I've been wearing That's all episode. Find at the end of a rainbow? Yeah, big box of Film Riot t-shirts. That sucks. No it doesn't, it's awesome. No that sucks. No it's not, it's awesome. I mean, that's awesome. Right? It's awesome. We got this new design in finally because a lot of you have been requesting a new Film Riot shirt and so we went to the drawing board and came up with something that I think is pretty awesome. We also decided to drop the price for the next week or so as a thank you to all our loyal viewers who watch each and every week right when we post. We love you guys a lot, sees. So there you go. A little gift from us to you. If you, if you want one, it's definitely now is the best time to do it while we have the discount because the discount will probably only last for a week or so, or as long as the stock of shirts we currently have last. So, if you want one, go to this website here and get one. But that's it, friendo. I'll see you guys next week when I get hunted by a scary man with a little boy's haircut. <laughs>